There's really no other way to put it other than that the hardware 4 on the Model Ys are a complete disappointment and really just a leading and stepping stone towards the full and complete stack of hardware 4. This is where it's going to be dubbed hardware 4.5 and I've been making a lot of videos on this so it's not a complete shock at all. I've been saying that with the current stacks and the hardware placements on the current model vehicles there is no physical way that it's going to be able to achieve what hardware 4 was intended to achieve. So being a software guy myself, if there was even a sliver of a chance that this was going to be possible and there was going to be a way to defeat the blind spots by seeing through the hood cover or even the cross traffic without the front bumper cameras, I would definitely let you guys know in advance because there are a lot of trickeries that software can do that can make hardware stretch beyond its capabilities. But in this case here, there is literally no possible way and there will have to be additional hardware placed at the front of the vehicles. So it's clearly not possible and hardware 4.5 is going to be the hardware that you would want in your vehicle. Now on top of that, this video is specifically pointing at the hardware 4 inside of the Model Ys and this is even a further stretch beyond disappointment than what it is on the S and X presently. So this is painful to just say but if you guys had just picked up your Model Ys, you guys are going to be in for disappointment. It's a little bit painful to be honest knowing that your vehicle is literally brand new with brand new hardware but it is not as capable as some of the other vehicles. So what's happening here is Green the Only. If you guys don't know who he is, go on Twitter and just type in his Twitter name and you guys will know exactly what he's all about. But essentially he's got his hand on a hardware for board from the Model Y directly from a donor that's really curious of what's going on on the internals of the vehicle. He dissected the entire board and this is what we know so far. So there has been quite a bit of changes from the original hardware for a board from the Model S that we've seen when it first got released. There's officially things missing and ports gone. That means that there is no longer a possible retrofit. So I'm just going to run down the list real quick here and you guys can decide for yourself what's important and what's not. So here's just a little jump start I'll have on the screen here of the OG board. There was 12 available ports. 8 was populated and 4 was depopulated meaning that those were additional extra ports. Three of the extra ports was going to be used for the camera system or the camera upgrades, which is possibly going to still be happening in the future. And then there's one remaining as an available extra or additional one in case anything does come up. But now let's go to the current board right now on the Model Y and check out what's new here. So the first thing here is the dedicated GPU is now missing from the Model Y compared to the S and X. Don't confuse this for the GPU in your infotainment screen. That is the AMD Ryzen with its own dedicated gaming graphics. This is a GPU dedicated to the full self driving and what it's able to process in terms of visualization and data. So that is completely gone and only reserved for the premium vehicles. Now next on the list they're reverting back to cheaper non error correcting RAM because they no longer have the radar so there's not a lot of data coming back in and back out again. Speaking of radar the retrofit or the ports are no longer there meaning that there is no no signs and no possibility of radar ever coming to the current Model Ys. This doesn't mean that future boards or future iterations are not going to have the radar system, but as of right now, the boards that are going into the vehicles do not have it, meaning that there is no possible retrofit or upgrade in the future. Now, Green mentioned that they are doing this because they are so sure that they can get the capabilities the same with and without radar, meaning that most of the features that we should be seeing in the Model S and X with the radar system is going to be possible purely with vision. Now we don't know that for sure until some kind of bottleneck is hit but we do know that they are doing this because of the part supply shortage. So in the future when the hardware supply is back up to normal again they are going to be adding radar back into the mix. Continuing on now there is the removal of the upgraded sound system for this board. Not sure how this plays in part with the sound system inside of the cabin but what we do know is that that has been removed and it's completely different than what the S X has. And then we do have a couple other additional things here like the ethernet port is missing and a bunch of other smaller components on the board. But finally we do have the confirmation that the board has been moved to another cheaper vendor meaning that this board is going to be a lot 
cheaper and cost efficient than the current S and X. So what it comes down to is that Tesla is cheaping out on the Model Y hardware 4 and it is not the same board as what we're seeing in the S and X. Now there is a possibility that in the future the single board can be swapped because things seem interchangeable in terms of the cooling system, wiring harnesses and whatnot. But if Tesla is going to do it or not that is the real question. It does seem like it's going to cost a lot and they are stopping all signs of retrofit from hardware 3 to hardware 4. Now speaking of hardware 3 to hardware 4, I know a lot of you guys are waiting to hear if that is possible or not. Unfortunately, it is showing signs that this is very very unlikely due to the cooling system that's seen inside of this teardown. Green has confirmed that the cooling system is completely different, the wiring harnesses are just completely different, meaning that if you want to switch from hardware 3 to hardware 4, there is really only one outcome and that is to buy a brand new vehicle. So yeah guys, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news but it is what it is and I'm just reporting whatever I see and I think this is a cost cutting measure that Tesla is doing and it's really affecting a bunch of us. Now in the end, if you do have hardware 4 in your vehicles, be thankful because at least it's still an upgrade from hardware 3 but expect a newer version of this board and the complete system to come out dubbing it hardware 4.5. I am almost certain that hardware 4 in its current form is not the final form of what the complete suite is going to be like. This is due to the fact that all my videos have come out about the hardware 4.5 and how the additional camera is needed. Especially if you think about the housing system that Tesla kind of just half-assed on. They put a dummy camera up there and likely they're going to move over to a different housing system. Of course it's not a big deal but for a premium vehicle you don't want dummy of anything and they're probably gonna switch over to a housing that fits the two camera system that's currently on the hardware 4. Anyways, I will continue to monitor everything and update you guys as soon as I hear anything related to Project Highland, Project Juniper, hardware 4, and hardware 4.5. So if you guys are interested in all of that and interested in what I have to say, make sure you guys hit subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. So as soon as I release a video, you guys will be the first to hear. As always guys, I do appreciate all of your comments and interactions. I try to get back to all of the comments within the day, if not minute so please drop me something below this should be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it this is john once again peace out